and welcome back to a gold rush rp I'm trying to figure out what's going on over here it seems like, it's like a little traveling salesman or something to start off the day <laughs> not sure what's going on oh, howdy Hi, Denzel. <laughs> what are y'all up to uh, running a stand oh okay okay oh okay he didn't want to talk dips. i guess oh i didn't i didn't realize i smelled that bad god damn i'll take some gumbo if you got some sure Oh, get I mean, like oh, grab three. Let me go grab some money real quick. Mm -hmm. All right, sweet. We're going to start off grabbing a little bit of some good food. Uh, and then I think again, as I said in the last episode, today we're going to be trying out the artisan job. Uh, now, again, I think today we're not going to be really grinding too much for the gems, neither for the iron, which you do need for the jewelry. I just mostly want to test out what you as kind of like a starting artisan get. Um, and then, of course, as I've heard, uh, the higher you get in the skills, the more high quality uh, jewelry you can make and obviously make more money. But I just want to see how it is at the start and I guess how the skill system works uh, and how fast it goes up, obviously, because if it's something that's going to take us uh, hours and hours and hours and hours to actually get to a point where we're making money, probably won't be worth it. But if it's something we can do here and there, whenever we get some iron and gems, it might be worth it. So I think that's what we're going to head over to do. Uh, we do need to smelt our iron ore as well. So that's going to be the first thing on our docket. Uh, the smelter is quite a while away, but we should still be able to head over there and uh, smelt up our iron, head down to Mexico, and uh, I guess try and figure out how this artisan job works. I'm guessing we want to bring some gems with us as well, because I believe that's what you actually have to use to create the jewelry. Uh, and then the other part I want to see is if you sell it either to a black market and get criminal XP, or if you just sell it to one of the traders and really don't get any XP for it. That's the other thing I definitely need to see because we have been trying to get our criminal skill up. But again, let's buy some food real quick. All right. Should I pay you, miss? Yeah. Yes, please. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. All right. Y'all take care. my pistol. Everybody knows this. All right, oh, sweet. Uh, the only other thing is, I'm not sure if Moo the Third is still, hopefully, hopefully Moo the Third is still alive because we kind of need him. Uh, I think he might not be set up in our stable boy at the moment, though. Let's have a quick check. Okay, yeah, so I think he should be over at the master, the stable master. So let's go talk to him real quick. All righty, so let's see. Let's open up the stable menu here. Again, hopefully it's still all right. Move the third. Okay, so 29.8. So this is most likely going to be our last day uh, with this horse. Did I see another horse in there? Wait, stub. Oh, okay, okay. So we do actually have a backup horse that was given to us by Dusty. I forgot to include that in the last episode, um, but Dusty did give us a backup horse. So if Moo does die before our baby is done either getting trained or up to the amount of years old that we're able to ride it at, uh, then we should have a backup horse for a couple days. So we should be pretty all right. Hello, Mr. Raccoon. Uh, so let's go grab Moo the third for now for as long as it's alive. And what we're going to do is grab our iron as well. And I'm pretty sure the only smeltery is all the way over here yeah over here is the only smelter i think let me try taking a look around see if i can find another one though Alrighty, so there actually is one down by mcfarland's ranch which is also right next to the uh the mexico border so it's in the perfect spot so thankfully we're gonna head down to mcfarland's ranch and smelter iron instead of heading all the way over to new hanover and having to go all the way back down here so good thing i checked and apparently yes there is a smelter over here so we're gonna quickly head down there get our iron smelted up and then we should be good to go uh, we're gonna grab our gems as well because i'm guessing we need them and i think 20 or 25 dollars is the fee to get into mexico and then they might take a few when we leave i'm not too sure i haven't been down there in a long time and I'm guessing a lot has changed. So uh, for now, we're going to go grab our horse, head over down to the smeltery. I'm going to grab our iron and, and their gems and everything. And I will meet you guys once we are down there, getting our iron smelted up. And then, of course, heading over the border to Mexico. Howdy. Dusty was looking for you. I'm not sure if you met him. Oh, really? Yeah, your horse should be ready. Oh, already? Yeah, Dusty's quick. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, yeah. Where is he at? He rode out of town like 10 minutes ago i would say so he might be at the basin that's like the only place i can think of he might be all right well i'm gonna go find him then hopefully yep all right i'll see you around Mato. you take yes. care you too Sadel. all right so apparently never mind before we head over to the to the um to the smeltery and to mexico apparently dusty has our horse all ready to go so let's head over to the basin and grab our baby horse and then uh we should be good honestly to continue on with our day so you guys, once we're actually at the basin, not at the smeltery. Five minutes later. Sorry. Turn around. Oh my. Jesus, fuck. How's it going? 
I have yours. All right, thankfully we ran into Dusty. Sweet. So I guess we are very lucky to run into Dusty on the way there. We didn't actually have to go to the basin, which was very nice. All right, sweet. We should have our foal now, not foul, as I was saying yesterday. And let's go pay him real quick. Okay, okay. 500, right? Yes. Well, there you go. Uh, have you actually been over there recently by a chance to Mexico? Figured I'd ask. Zeal, the moment nope. that I step foot into Mexico, I am either on a suicide mission or, yeah, I'm looking to die. Okay, well, let's no, hope that, uh... I am not, and I will not. not <laughs> let's hope I see you again, Dusty. <laughs> the last time I went there, I lost my testicles, Zeal. So okay. that was my price of entry. I'll, uh, I'll keep mine close to me, Dusty. Should, I'll keep mine close. You should maybe uh, take a little more than 25. <laughs> okay. Do not lose yours, all right? I'll try my best. All right. Thank you again, Dusty. Y'all take care. Yeah. Hopefully I see you again after Mexico. I hope the place burns to the fucking ground. <laughs> I'll see you around. Y'all take care. Yeah. All righty. So not the best, not the best advice for Mexico. <laughs> not many people like going over there. But first of all, again, let's try and uh, smelt up this iron real quick. And then we'll head to Mexico. We do have our uh, new horse as well. I don't think it's of age yet. We're going to have to wait a couple more days. Then we'll be able to get it completely tricked out. I want to get a saddle, saddle bags, get a nice, like, everything on it since we're going to have that horse for a long time. Uh, we also do need to sell some more ammo as well soon, but we can work on that in a little bit. Uh, but for now, let's head over to the smelter over at the ranch. And I'll see you guys once we're over there smelting all of our iron. And we're over at, I believe, McFarland's ranch. Did I get that right? Yeah, McFarland's Ranch. I did get that right. Uh, and there should be a smelter right over here. Now, I brought a little bit extra money because I believe it does cost a small fee to have our stuff smelted up. So let's head over here and see. Is it in here? Does seem so. Uh, oh, there it is. Perfect. Uh, to pay for remelting. So let's see how much it's going to cost. Again, we have 32 ore. So let's see. We press it, smelting. We have $88. We're doing 32 ore. Okay, $56 to get eight bars of iron. Quite a bit. Uh, I think we're gonna, I think $32 should be enough to go to Mexico with. Uh, we might wanna grab a little bit extra money just in case we have to bribe any of the border guards for any reason at all. So let's go grab a little bit extra money. Uh, I think we should be able to, you know what? $32 should be fine. Again, I believe it's only $20 to get across the border, and then we should be pretty much set. Uh, I think there might be a bank somewhere around, or there has to be by this time. So we should have a way to get some money if we need to, or maybe I don't see any banks over there. So that might run into an issue. Is there one over here? Doesn't look like it. So that actually might be an issue. Uh, you know what? Better be safe than sorry. I'm going to go grab out like another $20, $30, and then I'll meet you guys when we are at the border. See you guys in just a second or two. All right, actually, before we do head over, howdy. What we are going to do is instead, uh, we are going to, of course, grab that 20 or $30. But on top of that, I think we're going to leave our uh, nicely made weapons here, especially since they're made by Frankie. We haven't seen them in a while. It would suck to lose those. And instead, we're just going to bring kind of our bottom of the barrel stuff. So I believe this Navy is normal. And then we will also bring this pump shotgun, which is actually really nice. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we got that for free. So I won't be too mad if I lose that. Uh, we have two ammo boxes. Let's grab another two just in case. And uh, I think we should be good to go. Again, let's also grab another, let's say, $45. So we have 77 on us. That should be plenty for everything we need down there. But again, let's uh, finally head over to the border. See you guys once we're over there. Again, using the shotgun and the navy. I'll probably show you guys as it's putting them on right before. Actually, we can probably put them on right now since we're heading out of town. So we again have this pump shotgun. I believe this has an extended barrel on it as well. So it should be uh, pretty nice. Five in the tube as well. So plenty of shots to go around. And then, of course, we have our navy that is not done up. So again, if we lose this, I won't be too mad either because this doesn't really have any sentimental value to us. But again, we just want to put away our fancy guns just in case something does happen. We don't end up using those guns or losing those guns that have quite a lot of sentimental value to us again let's head over to the border see you guys once we're over there and we're over at the border it's been a little bit since we've been here again as usual it doesn't look like anyone on the american side although i'm guessing there should be some mexican border guards at the other side i think we just have to give them a small fee as well so we'll ask them at that about that on the border as well let's head across here and there should be someone Let's see. 
pretty sure normally we're supposed to just wait here for a second uh make sure you have your id do we have our id we do have our id and it's only 20 dollar fee okay uh so where the heck are they i guess we'll just wait here a second or two worst case we'll head over to the fort and we'll probably be able to pay them there so i'm not too worried again we brought the money on us specifically to pay them at the border so i'm gonna wait here for like two three minutes if no one shows up then we'll probably start heading over to the fort and uh, i guess continue from there so let's just wait here for a couple minutes see if anything happens Alrighty, we've been waiting for a good three four five minutes so i think we're gonna head in uh start heading over to the fort of course and uh hopefully there should be some people at the fort we'll obviously pay them we don't want to get into any trouble with the mexicans because they can be pretty nasty from what i've heard if you uh don't follow their rules or do exactly what they say so we're gonna try and be as compliant as we can as again i have heard they get a little crazy as we uh, heard from dusty he they uh, obviously cut off one of his testicles which is you know not the desired outcome for today's episode so uh let's uh, head over to the fort unless we run into anyone on the way i will see you guys once we're over there and hopefully all goes well and we can figure out how this artisan crafting job actually works all righty we are just about arriving at the fort again there should be some guards here don't see any yet though but it doesn't look like oh there's one i'm guessing looks like there's one here so we'll talk to him does not look like a mexican border guard though howdy that is a local okay talking to locals again don't worry just the usual stuff uh yeah we haven't seen a single person in mexico which i'm very surprised about the server population also got raised to 160 so there can now be 160 people on the server at once but i'm guessing this is the artisan guy so let's try talking to him again we haven't seen any border around here at all uh hold press g to talk to santiago let's have a little talk uh i don't speak rutas de patrola uh patrol route give me a patrol route return the presidential gemstones <laughs> something let's try this one uh we don't have any of these gemstones okay so the, they apparently added a bunch of new gemstones to the server as well so we can't return any of them let's see what the second option i guess the first option does rutas de patrola uh patrola one you are not part of the Mexican army F off. Okay. So apparently we can only do the gem crafting with specialty gems. It seems we can't use them with the old gems anymore. So I'm guessing we still sell these old gems to, of course, the black market. But maybe you can't get these anymore. So we might want to hold on if those are like rare precious gemstones you can't get anymore. And let's just check these stalls really quick. See if there's anything here before we head out. Doesn't seem... Uh... Oh, wait, is this the gemstone making? Gemstone cutter. Okay, so we almost went the wrong way. So there's a gemstone grinder. So I'm not sure what that guy is that you talk to. And then there's a jewelry station. Okay, so we're just at the wrong spot is all. So jewelry station, uh, jewelry parts, necklaces, or rings. So let's see for jewelry parts. We can make iron band, iron clasp, iron setting, or iron chain. And at the top here as well, uh, we can see our craftsmanship score, which I'm guessing is like our skill or XP for this. Good thing we saw this before we left and thought that we had the completely wrong thing. So good thing we saw this. Uh, next, we have necklaces. For the necklaces, we have obsidian, jasper, fire, and amber. So it's looking like we do need those new gems. Maybe in the rings? No, it seems like the rings do all, use all of the same exact gems that we were trying to use. Um, let's see what this grind gemstone cutter is used for. Test this thing out as well. So this is just all for those kind of gems, not any of the gems that we have. Uh, let's see how much it is to craft like some of the bands maybe or like a necklace thing. Let's see. So jewelry parts. Let's try making an iron chain. So again, we have eight iron ingots. Let's try making an iron chain. Okay, sweet. A little cool animation as well. As I told Dusty, you just hammer the stuff in and it works. So, let's see how long this takes. Alright, so there. It didn't take too long. Uh, for making an iron chain, it seems it took one iron bar. We got the iron chain. And how much XP? We got one XP. Okay. So... I'm guessing it's tiered, like maybe when you hit 200, you craft better. Maybe when you hit 400, you hit better. Hopefully, it's not just you hit 1250 and then it's better. Because that would take quite a long time. Uh, but we're obviously going to need to get some of those new kinds of gems. Let's also check to see if there's any market stalls here that actually have anything yet. Don't believe there is, though. Uh, I also want to check this guy, see if he says anything new, because we've tried talking to him a couple times. So, use the door. 
nothing okay so i'm guessing this guy is another person that we're gonna have to talk to oh wait actually wait here we go uh hola amigo what is the necessity maybe uh sorry if you read uh if you actually speak spanish and uh you have to go through all of me not being able to hit us it's probably very frustrating for you i do apologize for that uh so here we go see you later hector uh take my coin so let's give him some money 50 bucks 50 dollars to get in here well, hopefully there's something good in here because we just got scammed for $50. Uh, is there a bank? It doesn't look like it. Don't know what this is for. Is there anything in here? Or did we just spend $50 to go into a teeny, teeny, teeny room? But it really doesn't look like there's anything in here. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, so on this little skull, I hit something. And now we have insight, export... And start at export, I'm guessing? Capital 11 or information about the tunnel for 250. Oh, damn. Okay, we are learning some Mexican secrets over here. So let's try this one. You don't have all crates needed, so we need to... Maybe that's for... Hmm. Maybe that's the alcohol crates we can do something with? Capital 11. Mission day re recovery mission? Recovery mission? Hurry up in there. Wait, what? Uh, is that Hector telling us to get out? Or was that just because we did that? Let's try getting out of here, see what happens. Mission day re Oh, wait a second. Recovery mission. Go recover the keychain in the tunnel. Bring lockpicks. You have 30 minutes. Oh, crap. Wait, what What tunnel? I'm guessing we need, we need the info about the tunnel to be able to do it. Oh, no. So, in the future, we know... Oh, boy. This is actually getting very interesting. This is getting very interesting. So I think we need lock picks and then we have a recovery mission we get to do. Okay, screw the freaking jewelry craft and we're gonna do a secret Mexico mission. We can figure it out. So I'm guessing what we're gonna need, of course, first of all, is that information about the tunnel, which again, we have to pay $250 for, which is quite expensive. Uh, and then we can do a recovery mission where apparently we need lock picks for we have 30 minutes to do it. Uh, obviously, we don't have the lockpicks and we don't have uh, any knowledge of where that tunnel is or how to get to it or how to actually do this mission. But now in the future, if we come back here with, say, $350, we spend 50 to get back in that house, we do this kind of recovery mission, maybe we get something from that that's worth it. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, we're going to need a little bit more money, which means we need to sell off some ammo. I think for now, uh, until I want to spend a couple days mining, we're just going to hold off on the jewelry crafting uh, until we're actually going to spend a couple days just off camera probably just getting a ton of gemstones so we can actually test out that job properly for you guys but for today what i think we're going to do at least this episode is i'm going to try and sell some ammo and with that ammo or if the money we get from selling the ammo we're going to try and do this secret recovery mission is what i'm guessing that is again i don't speak my spanish very well i don't think i actually got any good grades during my spanish classes but apart from that uh let's go obviously try and sell some of this ammo make enough money and then try out the secret mexican recovery mission we're going to also need to get some lockpicks, so we're going to have to figure out where the black market is as well. We have quite a bit to do. Uh, we might honestly do that in the next episode, but I guess we'll figure it out. Let's see if we can just easily sell some ammo and get some black market info. Probably see you guys when I'm guessing we're back in Strawberry or somewhere around there. we got to figure all this out. We have, a, we have a lot to do now that we've figured this one thing out. I'm very excited. Hopefully you guys are for this special secret Mexican recovery mission. I will see you guys in a little bit when we're hopefully selling some ammo. And we are back in armadillo first of all let's drop off these gems as we probably don't want to lose them and our iron and our other gem and this little necklace iron chain we made as well and i guess from here we need to sell some ammo but we need to find some people to sell to so i'm gonna do some talking around both here we might end up hitting the strawberry let's see if i can find ourselves some some customers hopefully How y'all doing? Oh, doing I'm doing all right, all right. Um, what do y'all have for sale today? Uh, we have goulash and full English breakfast. Oh, I'll get a full English breakfast or two. Would you like a peach tea or sweet tea or that? Oh, uh, sweet tea, please. How are y'all doing? Oh, not too bad. Yeah, Zville, are you still dabbling in the business that you asked me about at the Aurora Basin? <laughs> 
Or is the, that uh, which business? I have a couple. I've had a couple. Special boxes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. You perhaps are interested in some of that, possibly. I'm not. I don't really find much out of it. But the fellow to my left might be. I'm not sure if he has any on him. Okay, okay. We'll have a talk outside after them, fellas. Yeah. Don't want. All right. So, are, are you running into a customer? Into any other thing? Oh, uh, here and there, but not too there much at go. the moment. What are you? Gotcha. Hey, I'll have a quick talk with him after. Yeah, wonderful. All right. All right. Well, you take care, sir. Thank you very much for the food. All right. Thank you for the business. Yeah, the of course. Now. Yeah. Take care. Oh, uh, Phil. Yeah, you want to have a quick little talk? Yeah, yeah. All righty. Sweet. We ran into the perfect yeah, people, I guess. I don't know what these special boxes are. I have mm -hmm. an idea, but. Yeah, so uh, I specialize in uh, certain kinds of ammo that hits a little bit mm -hmm. harder, does a little bit and this and that. Yeah, pick okay. your spot. <laughs> um, <laughs> but basically, uh, right now, what I have in stock is slugs for the shotguns uh, and high velocity for both your repeater or rifle. I have both of those in stock. And then also, if you want, uh, I can get high velocity for revolvers, uh, pistols. I can get uh, tranquilizer rounds for the varmint rifle. Oh, so man. it's really, you know, whatever you want. And uh, how much uh, for the slugs and I have velocity for a repeater? Give me one second. Mm -hmm. So uh, all these prices, if you order over 10, 10 or over, you do get a uh, quite a hefty discount on them. Just just mm -hmm. put that in mind as well. So uh, the raffle. Okay. Um, Sadly, the sleeping ones, like they don't actually knock you out. Yeah, entirely. they just make you just, very, very tired. Yeah, you mess up your nervous like, system and everything. Yeah, it drains wow. your, your energy. Exactly. Like, you ain't running no more. Zero. You ain't really fighting too well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm definitely interested. Um, I literally just bought a horse, so I'm a little less short on cash. But, I mean, um, I can buy it for you, and you can just pay me back later. I mean, if Follow you want to. Um, no, if you need it for what we do, then, yeah, I'll buy it for you. I don't care. Uh, I'm thinking uh, two slugs and two high repeater, or high velocity for repeaters. Alrighty, they'll come out to 380, I believe. 380. Yep. Grab two slugs, quick. two repeater. Awesome. Alrighty, I'm gonna go grab it for you then. Wait. You know we've been kidnapped before, but you know you you can. Alrighty, let's grab this for him. Alright, so let's grab two slugs. Boom, and then two high velocity repeater. All right, and you there step we over go. Slide in your pocket. Oh, if you. And you want me to just give it to him? Uh, yeah, you can just give it to him. All righty. Thank you very much. Hey, no problem. Howdy. Wait, let me give this to you. All right. Again, we're making a quick sale, not a ton of money, but three hundred and eighty bucks is three hundred and eighty bucks. There we go. We definitely need to go find more customers, though. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna be able to get some more in the future. I mean, of course, expanding out to armadillos definitely helps out a bit. Okay, that's that should be good now. Alrighty. So here are the two slugs, and here okay. are the two repeater, and you should be all set. Beautiful, I got them. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course, of course. Anything in the future, just let me know. Yeah, I'll uh, look you up in the directory. For sure, for sure. Alright, so what I think the plan is going to be actually not die of hunger here that would probably not be the best have some of that gator gumbo we bought earlier but i think that's actually going to be about it for today uh obviously i think what we need to do in the next episode is first of all sell off a ton of ammo at the start of it so we have a little bit of extra burning money and then of course we're going to head into mexico with hopefully a good amount of money like again hopefully we're gonna bring like we're gonna have to bring like 400 dollars probably just because i'm not sure what's gonna happen in the next video or what's gonna happen with that whole recovery thing uh, we are also going to need to find out where the black market is. I think I have a contact for it. This is actually a day uh, after we actually made that sale that you just saw. Uh, some stuff went on after that. Nothing too interesting, though. We might be getting a very, very important supply line. But unfortunately, I had to hide some of that due to meta. I didn't want any of other people's RP getting ruined. So unfortunately, the rest of that day, I kind of had to cut out just for fear of uh, other people's RP being ruined, which is, again, not what we're trying to do here. But I think that's going to be about it for right now. Again, in the next episode, we have to, one, find out the black market. It, two, sell a boatload of ammo, and then three, head into Mexico and figure out this damn mystery. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and you are looking forward to the next one when we're hopefully going to be figuring all that stuff out. And if you guys did enjoy, as always, make sure to leave a like and if you want to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.